Hey everybody, what is going on? Buddy Blackbird here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the magic wand tool to um, select things quickly and easily within Photoshop. Now, the Fo magic wand tool has been around for a while within Photoshop and one of, one of its most iconic tools. And it's called the magic wand tool because the icon just looks like a magic wand. So what it does is it uh, selects um, based on the shift and brightness ranges within, within an image. <clears throat> so when things are, are contrasting a lot, it's going to um, be good for those types of images where you need to just select. Now the um, magic wand tool isn't a super precise tool, but it does do the job nicely and quickly and um, is very useful so we'll just get get on with it so I have this image here where it's just uh, this logo uh, or this I guess it's logo a logo on top of just a white background and I don't want this white background I want it to be transparent so I can put this logo on top of anything else so what we're gonna do is remove the white background with the magic wand tool all we need to do is click on the white background and it has selected the entire everything that is the white background. The only things it's going to miss are the spots that are in between the um, letters, like the inside of this A, the inside of this R, and the inside of this A. So I'm going to hit delete to delete out any uh, white that has been selected, and we get that. So that's really nice. Now all I need to do is take the zoom tool, zoom in, and uh, take our uh, magic wand tool, select in here. If you hold shift, you can add to your selection. So all we're just going to do is select these white spots and hit delete, and, and now we're good. Now everything has, all the white has been um, out, uh, clipped out so that's awesome for us now we can just take this entire logo here and put it on anything that we want so there's a couple uh, things with the um, with the uh, magic wand tool that I want to go over up here in the options we've got our basic options that we have with all the rest we've got our normal selection add subtract and intersect um, if you need more info, info on those, check out the uh, marquee, square marquee, and elliptical marquee uh, tutorial, which was just a couple back. We've got the uh, sample size here, um, and then you can select the number of uh, pixels by which to sample from. So right now it's just going to select one pixel, but you can select an average amount there. Um, five pixels by five pixels and you get the average color of it and uh, that's how those work for the sample size we've got our tolerance next door and uh, the tolerance goes from 0 to 255 and the higher the value the more information the magic wand tool selects so the higher so if this is up at 255 it's gonna select a wider range of whites than if it was down here at 32 at 32 it's just going to pretty much select the white that you picked. You've got anti-alias checked for uh, smooth edges. Um, contiguous here um, selects adjacent pixels within the document so um, I usually ha keep that checked and then we got to sample all layers in case we want to take something from every single layer and select it um, or select multiple layers at once. So the magic wand tool is helpful at getting big chunks of objects out of your image. So if you have something like, um, take this bike at sunset or something like that, and maybe we want to try to select out this bike, I'm going to go ahead and select in the uh, select the sky so we can delete that out. But when I try to select the sky, since there's so many different colors in here, um, Photoshop's going to have a hard time figuring out what you want selected and everything like that but it tries to do its best you could increase the tolerance go to 100 and then try selecting in here and you can see that it has selected more and um, we've got some contrasting in the tree and everything like that but it did the best that it could 
And if we try to delete that out, we've got a section, a big section that's been deleted out for us. Now it'd probably be easier to use your lasso tool and cut out the bike first, and then maybe use like the magic wand tool to get like sections in here to delete those out and things like that. So that's how you can use the magic wand tool in conjunction with other tools. So that's it for the magic wand tool here. So thanks for your uh, support and watching the video. Subscribe if you want to see some more Photoshop videos because a bunch more are coming up. So see you guys at the next tutorial. Have a good one, everybody.